If you're a creator, you know how hard it is to pick the right MacBook for you. 14 inch, 16 inch, M4 Pro, M4 Max, like what processor and stuff like that. I know when I was buying, it took me hours and hours of researching just to see which one would be the good one for me. This video is not gonna be crazy specific. I'm just gonna tell it how it is. And I wanna tell it the shortest way possible so you don't waste time. Okay, first things first, the biggest thing is the sizing. 14 inch or 16 inch. Now, I went with 14 inch. Why? Number one, it is not my main computer. This computer is gonna be strictly for traveling. I wanted something compact, I wanted something light, and 16 was honestly a little bit too heavy for me to carry around everywhere. I agree, the more real estate, the screen is bigger, but it just, it was not that big of a deal for me to edit on the 14 inch. Now, battery in these computers these days is insane. It doesn't matter if it's 16 or 14, they both last approximately a full day, which you're probably not gonna edit for 24 hours. But yeah, this one goes for 22 hours, the 14 version, the 16 version goes with 24 hours but it's not that big of a deal for you to choose 16 over 14 because of the battery now one thing that i would say you have to get if you're a creator on the go if you're editing photos or videos outside doesn't matter if it's 14 or 16 get the nano texture display it's only a hundred and fifty dollar difference and i'm saying only very lightly that might be a lot but it is very much worth it. There's no reflection. It looks better. It looks sleek. There's no color def deformation or something. So a must. Now, when you pick the computers, I know when you go on Apple, you see this processor, this processor, how much RAM, how much hard disk and stuff like that. Let me break it down for you. I'm going to read this. So I got the M4 Pro 14 core CPU, 20 core GPU and 16 core Neural Engine. I did upgrade to 48 um, memory gigabytes because that's, I think, the most important thing if you want to edit videos, if you're editing 4K in Premiere Pro or something. So I did upgrade to that and I did do two terabytes of storage. Why I didn't want a one terabyte? Just because if I do want to put something on a hard drive, I would like to have an additional space, but I didn't want to go for four or eight just because A, it's too expensive and B, I can just attach an external SSD here and be done with it for $200. So yeah, I would say one terabyte if you're really on a budget, two terabytes if you really, if you can afford it. Now, price-wise. So the price between the 14 and the 16 version, depending on what configuration you pick, is gonna be two to 300 to $400. Is it worth it? I don't know. It all depends what you need and we'll come to that at the end. But I paid a little over $3,000 with tax. And I know that's a lot, but I got the Apple card and everybody can apply for the Apple card. And the best thing about it is when you get approved, they will tell you exactly what your limit is. And then you can pay it off in a year with no interest. So I'm paying $254 a month. So pretty doable. And it's way more justifiable to buy it like that. Now, if all of this didn't convince you that the 14 is the right for you, let me tell you why you should pick 16. So pick 16 if this is gonna be the main, main computer for you. I have the Mac Studio in my office, as you guys can see in this little corner here, and that is my beast. I bought it three years ago and it's epic. The reason why I went with 14 is because it's gonna be my secondary, my travel. I didn't need to spec it out, so I got the M4 Pro instead of Max. So that's the main reason why you wanna get the 16. If you wanna spec it out, if you wanna make it a beast, if it's your main computer, and if you wanna get the M4 Max processor, definitely get the 16. Why? Because A is bigger, so the heat dispension is way better on the 16 than the 14. Now, I didn't have any issues with this one. It's pretty cool all the time when it's working, when it's closed as well. Not an issue, but if you do the max on the 14, it's gonna be way hotter and it's not gonna have the full performance. So if you're doing with the max processor, if this is your main computer, if the money doesn't matter, if you really like the 16 inch, go with 16 inch. If this is portability is your main priority and the budget as well, and you don't mind the 14 inch screen, go with 14. It's simple as that. Now, some minor things to consider. I got the space black version. You can go with the silver if you want. I like the space black just because I never had it. So I wanted to try it out. I was a little bit uh, anxious about the um, fingerprints, but no, no issues at all. The pro version has three USB-C's, Thunderbolt ports, uh, full HDMI, SD card, 
charger and the headphone jack. So pretty much everything you need, which is amazing. I really do hope this helps. So 14, portability, 16, if you wanna max it out, if you want the max uh, processor. Let me know if you have any questions, if I didn't cover something, but I did mention the main things. I was able to edit the 4K footage. I'm editing in Live Room in Premiere Pro had no issues whatsoever. And yeah, any more questions, feel free to let me know. If not, hope this helped. Peace out until the next one.